Well, for all those that have commented on my accent and my enunciation, or perhaps pronunciation, thank you very much. Um, just for the record, I love all sorts of accents from all over the world, so I'm, I'm certainly not chauvinist about the uh, the English accent. Um, I'm a bit sad, though, that it's dying. I, I do think that we're losing lots of the richness of the English language. Uh, it's been possibly downhill since Shakespeare, to be quite frank. But, um, right. Actually, to be... <laughs> No, I won't say it. I was going to say there is an accent in the world that I'm really not keen on at all, but it wouldn't be fair to mention it, would it, really? OK, the um, the British seem to have a fair few troops around. They don't seem to be doing anything with them, though. What is that? That's Cardiff, isn't it, in Wales? I'm wondering why I'm able to see so much of that, really. You know, what's happening in Wales and all that. Maybe there's a trade route that goes around that way. just don't know. OK, agent detected. That'll be... Oh, an agent. An enemy agent's been detected. On this occasion, he's evaded capture. Oh dear. He's going to be killing my general again, isn't he? Bound to. What have we got here? Court of Appeals in Kiev. Excellent. Commercial port in um, Courland. Uh, brilliant. And the merchant house that's going to earn me lots and lots of money. Let's just see what my income's going to be now. 12,578. Well, when I started making my series of videos again, that's um, video number, ooh, wrote it down somewhere, 48. I think we were up to, um, that was, when was that? Um, that was the second part of June, wasn't it? In 1807. Um, so from June until October, all the way up till October, we've gone from just over 900 and something to 1,200 and something. So so that's about 300, you know, increase in wealth every turn. Uh, that's pretty substantial, I would say. Okay, this is going to be the beginning of my um, uh, sea campaign for the uh, for the Russians. We'll see how good they can fight when they actually get on the ocean waves. So let's get a couple of uh, decent ships over here. Got another place we can recruit to from over here as well, wherever it is. Come on, I know you're here. There you are. Yeah, a couple from over there as well, and um, I'm going to get also. Uh, where are we? I've put um, some of my places in Russia on a... Oh, it didn't come up then. Where is it? Oh, well, I thought I had. Oh, yes, I have. There we go. I've I've keyed them in to, um, you know, F9, 10 and 11 like you can, and 12, um, so that I can find various parts of Russia. So, over in Sm Smolensk, I've put it to the west, but it looks to me as though it's to the east over there. No, it isn't. It's there, isn't it? So, okay. To the east of Smolensk. Is it here? Oh, no, hang on a minute. It's to the west of Smolensk. Here we go. At least I found the place straight away. It's just um, finding the place that I want to do. It's not that one there, is it? I'm actually looking for a mine. I've picked up on a mine that I want to improve. Now, I think it has to be this one, actually. I think I've just got the wrong side that I've written down in my notes here. And over at uh, Moscow, you'll be very pleased to hear that I'm going to upgrade the university as well. OK, well, that's the end of the turn for uh, late October 1807. Simple. Only seven um, rubles, shall we say, left. Oh, speed up the moves a little bit. Come on, speed up. That's it. There you go, I can get them to run if I want. <laughs> uh, see what the French are doing. Uh, small movement. Somebody said to me that uh, I need to start attacking the French now before they get too powerful. Um, they may well be right, but um, I don't want to do it that way. Um, I was hoping to be as historically accurate as I could, really. You know, I know I haven't been up there and help the, the Austrians in the way that I should do, but the Austrians have been awkward to help anyway, really, I think. So, I think I'm better off out of there. Uh, Prussia and Austria have struggled, which is historically correct, as far as I'm concerned. I will be building up some decent armies, so I will make sure I've got plenty of money to do that. What's that? Great Estates. They've uh, been hit. What is that in here? Okay, that's, uh, how much did that cost me, for goodness sake? 2,133. That was a big hit, wasn't it? That one. Good grief. Now then, over in Courland, 
which is over here somewhere. I um I've got it all keyed in, haven't I? But uh uh, I want a military academy in here, this is what I'm saying, I'll, on the borders there, I want to be building some decent troops and be able to move them around efficiently on some good roads as well. Um, and uh, over in Vilnius, here we go, I want to be able to get uh, a court of appeals if possible, but I can't do I'm afraid. So I do know there's a factory way down here somewhere that I could get instead. Here it is. Uh, yeah. Okay, and I also want to get um, Kutuzov, wherever he is, he's about here isn't he I think, there he is, uh, I want to get Kutuzov over to round about where this port is, oh he's going a funny way round isn't he, mind you, not such a bad thing, I don't want any sort of chance attacks going through here, um, attacking the port while it's building the ships, because if it does it'll just wipe out the ships and the money's lost, so I certainly don't want that to happen. Uh, somebody said I don't use my spies very well. They're quite right. I use my spies basically to keep an eye on what the French are doing. Um, I, the reason why I don't do other things with them, like sabotage or um, or assassinate or whatever, is because, well, first of all, I, the AI doesn't seem to take any account whatsoever of, um, of bankruptcy. And I, I know I've moaned about this before, but there doesn't seem any point whatsoever of... Um, affecting somebody's economy. Uh, well, it just puts my spies at risk, you know, so I might lose them. OK, I can see some benefit to attacking their generals, of course, and perhaps slowing down their, their development, uh, you know, by hitting um, developmental buildings. But really, I, I think they're of more value to me as eyes and ears. OK, trade ship in the Black Sea. Uh, so I shall be getting a new ship, as I always do. Naval recruitment. And we'll move that one here over to here. Now, if any video Richie has told me recently that I can get more than 10 in these trade hubs. I, I wonder how, though, because if we look here, they're full, aren't they? You know, you, you can't get any more into there. There are no spaces. So I'm really confused about that one, but um, might be worth giving it a try. I don't know. Uh, construction report. Okay. Now, I want to get um, Court of Appeals there in uh, Vilnius, if I can, which I know is down here somewhere. Like I said, I've got them on. There it is. I've got them keyed in anyway, so I can get them that way. But Court of Appeals, you know, usual 20% instead of 15% increase, which has got to be a good thing. Um, Novgorod should be over in this direction somewhere. Where is it? There it is. Uh, and I'll get a Court of Appeals in there as well. Okay. Right, and afford an opera house. Good if I can get an opera house as well. Um, you know, it benefits the uh, the whole nation that. Plus, it gives a um, an addition to um, the town wealth per turn, I believe. Plus eight per town wealth in the region. That's the one. Okay, next turn. I'm whizzing through all of these turns, as you've noticed. Reason is, uh, this part of my campaign really is all about building up the navy. It's about getting um, resources together so that the economy will stand alone. Also, being able to um, develop an effective navy so that we can move our trading ships into more lucrative areas. I really needed to be um, trading um, things like spices, you know, which are worth twice as much as what I'm currently trading, which is furs. I see the British occasionally move troops around you know, on their ships, but um, other than that, I don't see anything happening at all. OK, we have carcass shot. That all leads, of course, to my um, howitzers, which uh, which is what uh, I'm really aiming for. Um, right, I'll just check that the howitzer is possible now because of the carcass shot. Where is that? There's the carcass shot. Yes, it enables the howitzer, doesn't it? Experimental howitzer. OK. So what I'm going to do with Novgorod, before we've upgraded the university, I'm going to get my plateways in there, or at least start moving in that direction towards plateways. Not really that important to me, but it would be nice to have the steam locomotives, of course, plus 10 per town wealth in all of your regions. So that's a good thing to be aiming for. But for now, I really just want the university to be doing something. Because yeah, you can always pick up the research rate afterwards. Uh, now then, over in Istanbul... Oh, let's just get rid of this. What's this? Construction report. Oh, very good. Court of Appeals. Very good. Over in Istanbul... 
I want to be able to get the Great Museum. That's advantageous as well. 16 per turn per town wealth in the region, plus 4 um, all um, plus four happiness for all classes as well so it's definitely worth having 